Hey everybody, welcome to ChinFat. In this episode, I'm gonna be showing a couple different ways of importing media into Premiere and why you would want to import it in a specific way. Uh, so in the pre one of the previous episodes, I showed how to basically quickly import by creating a new project. I'm gonna kind of go through that a uh, again, but a little bit more in detail here. Or you start a new project here, this is one method of importing. Here, if you're going to go up to your project name, I'm just gonna call this like test project. Uh, I would really recommend putting the project file in the same folder as where you are saving your media. So right now I'm going to put it in the same location as where I have my media. I'm gonna choose my location. I'm gonna to go to my hard drive here and I'm gonna go under the production. Say I'm working on this uh, production right there. And I'm going to save my project uh, right here. I'm gonna say choose. And before I hit create, which will create the project file, right now I'm gonna go over, this is my preferred method. I, I showed how to bring it into a timeline and kind of watch your dailies and create a new folder. I don't wanna do that. I wanna do the organization on my own. So when you go to your hard drive, make sure that you are double clicking on the folders. You don't want to check mark this and hit create. It will filter through all these folders and will find anything that you imported. It'll import anything that you put into that. If you have still photos or just production materials, uh, I just wanted to bring in the media from, from the day that was shot. So I'm going to double click on the folder and open that up. And then if you need to double click on more folders to get into those, you can, but I can check mark just my footage here and my audio here. Let me show you what this footage and audio looks like before I import them and show you what it's doing. So I'm going to go down and click on my finder. I'm going to go to my hard drive. Here's my production folder right here. This footage was shot on a red camera. So as I arrow this down, uh, here is my red magazine folder right here. Whatever uh, magazine or solid state drive I had plugged in at the time, it created this folder and started recording. Usually the A006 means this is the this is roll number six or card number six here. And A means that it's A camera. If you have several cameras, that'd be A camera, B camera, so on. Uh, but as I arrow this down, this is the way Red shoots the, the footage. A lot of professional cinema cameras will have a workflow similar to this where you have a folder representing a clip and then it's got all the metadata for it as well. Uh, sometimes you'll have several different video files in there that build one video file altogether. But what this is going to do is it's going to filter through all these folders and, end, and just import the acceptable media files that won't import these digital magazine bins, that won't import the log files. It'll just, which are text files, it'll just import the media and nothing else. Same as my audio here, as I go to my audio re uh, recorder, this is footage, or this is audio that was recorded on a Zoom recorder. And uh, each one of these, ha it has this weird folder organization where it's got each individual file in its own folder. I don't want that folder structure. I just want the audio, the video, and nothing else. And this is the way to do it is through the import tab right here. Uh, so I'm gonna hit create, it will create my project and import those. Or I can actually, if, if you wanna do this manually, I like to create my project sometimes and then decide what media I want imported. So I'm gonna go down and hit create with nothing check marked right now. Uh, and now when you go back, here's my project has been created. Uh, and now I can go up to import. I can go up to the import tab here and I can check mark the folders that I wanna import. Go down to the bottom and hit import. Notice that it says no longer create because I've created my project file and now I'm just importing media. So I start editing a little bit and I would decide that I need to import more footage later on. I'm gonna go back to my import tab. Now I've got, I'm gonna move my mouse over this and I'm gonna hit the tilde key. It's above the tab key. It's a squiggly thing above the tab under the escape that will make that thing go full screen. So you can look at all your media here. Uh, any of these windows that you move over, if you hit tilde, it will make that window go, go full screen. But right now I want my project window to go full screen and I've got all my media here. I'm gonna select my first video clip here and I'm gonna hold down shift and click, my, and click on my bottom one here. It will select everything in between. I can grab this and I can drag it down to my folder icon at the bottom here, bottom right hand corner, and ho hover over the folder and drop, and it will put it in a new folder or bin. Uh, the reason why they call it bin is in the film days when they were cutting uh, different shots out of, out of a film roll, uh, they were putting them on a little clip thing that would be that would hover into a big canvas basket and it would and that's where all the the individual film shots would be organized for like scene one you'd have all your footage in one big canvas bin scene two in another big canvas bin they'd keep it in a huge closet and you'd wheel them out as you were starting to edit your films uh, so i'm going to name this day one video and now i've got that organized into a folder i can collapse that and everything is organized into that folder i'm going to grab all my audio Hold down shift and select on the bottom one, collect everything in, select everything in between, drag that down, put it over, hover over the folder, and we're gonna call this day one audio. And now I've got organized, got everything organized into these folders. I've got just the media and nothing else. It didn't bring in any folder structures in any weird items. I just brought in my video footage and my audio footage. I can hit tilde and I'm get, and now I'm ready to get going and get editing. So another way of importing uh, footage here, I'm gonna delete this right here. 
I'm going to use the import feature, which is under file and import right there. The shortcut is command I or on a PC, it is control I. Command I on a Mac, control I on a PC. And now I can select this folder right here. In fact, I can select my video folder. And if I hit import, it will give me an error message because it is trying to import everything that's in that folder, including folders. So it's telling me there are some things I don't know how to import. I don't know what this is. I don't know what this is. Uh, you just hit OK and that's fine. And now I'm going to arrow this down and you arrow this down and all my footage is annoyingly under all these individual folders to access each individual clip, which I don't like. Same thing as if you import the, the audio, command I, select the audio. It's going to keep the structure of all those folders, which has its purpose, which I'll show you. Hit OK and now arrow these down and now I have to dig through these and find your individual audio files, which is really annoying. So I'm going to hit command A, select all and delete everything here. I'm going to go to my finder here, click on my finder, and I've got a different project here. Now the difference between these two projects here, this one and the clapper edit, this, this, this one right here, the footage and audio was separate. So these have been recorded on different days. These have been recorded. These were recorded on the same day. I've got the date 2023-0706. And, and this method, you're just dumping the, the entire uh, card's contents for that day in this one folder. Or if you have several rolls inside, if you have several rolls of film that you're shooting that day or several SD cards, you can make a new, new folder and call it card one, card two, card three for that day's shoot. And then put, and then you'll dump all this footage. This is just one card that they shot on that day. No other cards. So you, we didn't need to do that. But there's another project here. This one here, the footage has already been organized and synced and exported out as individual files. And these ones, we've got scene one, scene two, scene three folders, and the footage for scene one's renamed and put in this folder. I don't recommend this for most productions. Uh, I'm, rec I'm recommending the, the one, the, the method that I've just shown you here. But if you have organized everything in the individual folder, vault folders, you've done your, uh, and, and I've got nothing in here but the media that I'm importing, uh, what you can do is you can just, we can go back into Premiere Pro and we can go Command I, we can go to that project folder and we can select just these folders here. Hold down, hold down shift and select the bottom one and I'm going to hit import and it will import those. And this does maintain the, the folder structures, which is nice. So that's just a, a different style of project. If that's what, what you're doing, if that's your, your method, your preference, you can do it this way. And then you use the Command I to import. And there's also one other way to do that is by using the Finder or Explorer uh, to import. So if I go down to my finder here, my taskbar and click on finder. Now I'm in my finder up here at the top and I've got my finder window that's open. I can basically have this window open, move it away from my pro, pro from my project window here. I can select those folders. I can grab and just hover over this window and drop them from my finder into Premiere Pro. Now when I click into Premiere Pro, now I'm in Premiere Pro uh, and there are my folders organized the way, I organized them on my hard drive. This maintains folder structure. If you have folders within folders, it will maintain those structures as well. So it just really depends on how you want to organize. I like importing the raw media and then organizing the footage and renaming it inside of Premiere. Uh, but that's just my preference for most projects. Uh, so, if, And by the way, if you are on a Windows machine and you want to do that, rather than click on the Finder here, you don't have the Finder, so you just hit the Windows key and hit the letter E while you're holding down the Windows key, and it will bring open the Explorer window, which is very similar to the find a window and now you can just hover and drag things and drop them into your project in that method. But once again, if you bring in your red footage or zoom footage, which has this weird organization, it's going to maintain that weird organization. So it's better to use the import key when the import page, when you're importing media such as red zoom footage or any other sort of camera footage or audio that has it, that where the machine, where the recorder creates its own file folder structure file and folder structure on that specific device. So there's some different methods for importing. Thanks for watching this episode. Uh, make sure that there's a link to the, the, the playlist on all these new Premiere Pro episodes that I'm doing, teaching how to use Premiere Pro. If you have any questions or comments, please post them. And thanks for watching ChinFat.